Good morning, everyone. Steve Georgie here from Allendale's Trading Floor, March 24th. Uh, we've got things down just slightly as far as grains to start uh, start the day. Uh, down just a half for corn, about three lower for beans, eight lower for wheat right now, giving back some of the gains that we've seen over the last few days. Nothing in a big way, though. Uh, we'll see what kind of a sense of trading do we get today. Will this be a macro day like we've seen the last few days? The dollar was sharply lower, crude oil trying to fight higher, and it was this sense of coming in to buy things. As of right now, the dollar's down about 30 cents. You've got crude oil up about 45. Will we see that support the market again, or are we going to see some of these other influences change? So keep an eye on that here today as well. No further sales or nothing to report here at 8 o'clock this morning, so no sales or cancellations. Um, so... What we've seen here over the past couple days seems to be more short covering than anything, um, and, and that's what's taken corn and beans mostly off their lows. The funds right now and the big managed money certainly preparing for a report uh, that is a week away. So the acreage report uh, and also uh, USDA quarterly stock numbers. Um, the funds now and managed money, as I was mentioning, they are certainly short. They're short corn, they're short beans, they're short wheat. So um, they had increased their short positions last week uh, on that rally that we had seen. So uh, keep an eye on that. But we have been getting more of this macro sense of buying if we're going to continue to see this dollar decline. Now, the dollar went down, hit some tre- hit a trend line today, uh, also hit some support. We'll see what happens from here. Uh, but like I said, keep a close eye on the dollar. It seems that has been the trigger uh, and given momentum here in either, either direction. Looking at cattle, cattle right now slightly higher, 15 higher. Uh, cold storage out yesterday afternoon. Um, we typically seasonally you'll see a, uh, about a 10 million pound decline for this time of year. We actually had seen a slight increase as far as cold storage. Um, looks to be a little bit negative, uh, but we'll see what side of the fence we're going to trade on. At least for early morning, we're up about 15 cents, and we've seen that move around quite a bit. Box beef coming in a little higher, choice up 128, select down just five cents. Uh, but the bigger story is the hogs. Hogs are down 65 cents, just can't catch a break. Um, cold storage reports certainly bearish, uh, coming out at, uh, with an increase of 90 million pounds. Uh, that doubles, that doubles the previous record. The previous record was only 42 million pound increase. We got a 90 million pound increase there, certainly from bigger slaughter numbers, uh, as well as that port strike uh, out west that cert- it didn't do any favors for the hogs. Um, but what do we have coming up as well? We've got more bearish news for the hogs coming up. Hog and pigs report on Friday. Uh, in December, we had seen about a 2% increase. Uh, we're looking for a 5.3% uh, increase over last year's number on this. More bearish numbers coming uh, for the hogs. So not a lot of good news there. Cutout values down slightly, down 14. Uh, but the bigger news today is that cold storage report uh, coming in just with an enormous number. Uh, and we'll see how the market wants to react to it. Outside markets for us, the dollar, as I mentioned, down 30. Crude oil is up. So are we going to get that macro sense of buying? Stock market relatively quiet, nine points higher. Gold and silver up slightly as well. But give us a call if you guys have questions. You can reach us here, 800-262-7538 or on the web at allendale-inc.com. I hope you guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you again tomorrow. Take care.